Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. We are back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Resurgence with Berlin FC Dynamo. Today, we are taking on Kaiserslautern in an away game. It should be a fairly routine win. They are third from bottom. We are top and I, I couldn't have picked a better game to play really because we're actually only one win away from securing promotion to the Bundesliga. We have almost done it. Not sure about being champions just yet. I think we're still a few points um, ahead of second place. So that can still be closed down. But if things go well, if things have been going the way they have been, we should be promoted and we should be champions. Things uh, have gone back to normal. normal. Normal service has been resumed. We're winning matches again. We're playing we're, we're playing much, much better. I don't know what happened in like January, February where we just could not win matches. I don't know what happened. But um, yeah, we are back to uh, winning ways again now. Uh, so last episode was uh, a convincing 4-0 win at home against Karu Selkos, Ablinger and two from Brajnic, um, the goals. Great performance. And um, since then, uh, we've won all of our matches and we haven't conceded a single goal. We have gone, I think, seven matches in a row without conceding. Mark Curie, like, he's had saves to make, but other games he's just had nothing to do. So we are on the best run of um, our season. I know we started the first half unbeaten, but there were draws in there. But we're playing really, really well and we are not conceding any goals at the moment. Four matches to play off screen started off uh, away against Holstein Kiel and we won 3-0. Um, it was a pretty close game in terms of like like chances. The stats looked very, very close. But we were just a lot more clinical than they were. They had four shots on target, but couldn't find a way through. We defended well. Mercury did well in goal as well. Uh, Brezhnev's got the first goal on the 10th minute, giving us a nice solid start to the game. Max Fuchs scored his first goal since returning from injury, and it was uh, less than 30 seconds into uh, the second half. Very quick uh, second half goal. And then uh, 73 minutes, it was 3-0. Brasnitz with his second goal of the game, which I think took him up to uh, 20 goals for the season. I think he's at 20 now. So it is possible that he'll get his biggest tally yet, which is so far 24. He could beat that. I think he's on 21. I'm not quite sure, but, but a big one away from home. Um, yeah, couldn't have gone any better. Then we won 2-0 against VFL at Bochum. Again, a close game. We had more of the possession, but Bochum uh, not without their shots, but again, just didn't really... Um, create anything massive. They had efforts, but they just weren't big chances. And uh, yeah, a 2-0 win from us. Brasnitz scoring again, uh, 39 minutes, a so first half goal, giving us the lead. And then 74 minutes, it was a 2-0 uh, as a, a set piece went sort of bouncing around the box for a while before being put in the goal by uh, Stephen Osterman for his first goal of the season and an array goal for a defender. But yeah, again, like we have more shots, more on target, more possession. Yeah, we we've just been dominant at the moment. Then we had some... Uh, closer games against teams that I think we really should have done better against. Against uh, Chemnitz, who are our bottom of the table. We won 1-0 away from home. And they, they gave us a game. Like, they had some chances. They could have got a goal, but uh, they didn't. Uh, and it was only a 1-0 win for us. We defended well once again. Uh, we were the better team. Again, plenty of the ball. Um, more efforts on target. And uh, got the 1-0 win. The only goal coming from Brasnich on 27 minutes. And yeah, they just kept the run going just a little bit more. And then lastly, um, against uh, Darmstadt, who are second from bottom, uh, we won 1-0 again. But it could have been so many more. Um, despite us having 23 shots, 10 on target. Very few highlights in this match. I've just played it. And uh, the goal came from Paradisi. It was a cracking goal, actually. Cutting in from the... Uh, from the right-hand side in uh, the 10th minute, apparently to get in uh, just his third goal of the season. But he's been very much the uh, assist king for us this season. I think he's got maybe double figures in, his, in assists. So that's good to see. But um, we had plenty of shots in this one, but really didn't create much other than our goal. They were all kind of long-range shots. We really uh, didn't manage to get into their area very much. So uh, it was a win, but I would like to you know improve our goal difference with this one. But I'll take a win anyway. It's fine. Which brings us on to Kaiserslautern. And you can see the run we've had uh, since sort of February, like sort of mid-February, where we uh, beat Regions by 1-0. Since then, uh, it's been seven wins in a row without conceding a single goal. So that's um, that's really, really good. And it's a real shame that we just sort of dropped in form sort of around the end of January. Before the winter break, losing our first match of the season. Before that, we were unbeaten for, for half the season. And with just four games left... Um, a point today will effectively secure promotion. A win will guarantee it. So showing you the league table, uh, it's the Monday night fixture. So everyone else has played their games. We have two points ahead of 1860 Munich. So uh, a win here will take that gap up to five points. And with uh, three games left after that, where we could end up securing 
um, the title against Nuremberg, who knows? Uh, but we are eight clear of Ingolstadt, who are in third place at the moment in that playoff play. So um, a win will guarantee promotion to the Bundesliga. We've won our past two, but not by much against teams that we really should be beating. We're placing the bottom three in the consecutive matches, and so far we've beaten the bottom two 1 0. Hopefully, we can do a bit better against Kaiserslautern because goal difference could be a big factor. I mean, we're doing the best for the moment, but it could be a big factor looking at the goals and stuff. Uh, we've scored the second most goals and we have the best defensive record in the league. So things are going very, very well. Okay, so Jens Wiebman's going to be on the bench for this one as uh, there's an injury to uh, Deininger, who has only played two appearances all season because Kircher, for the most part, has played every match apart from the one game that he was uh, suspended in. But the team's in terrific form. Brezhnev and Fuchs have been pretty solid. Fuchs are uh, getting his first goal back since his uh, injury. Midfield's not doing too badly. Presthoffer's performing okay. Frank has been pretty solid. So the team's in really, really good form. The bench pretty much picks itself at the moment. Kabea is um, struggling a bit with injury. Uh, Markovsky's out of the team at the moment because Hazic is doing really, really well. Holoback also with a bit of an injury at the moment. So Grysel's on the bench. Uh, I think we need to mention the, pr the uh, promotion in the team talk. I've done that and they don't seem too interested. So I'll try and build on that team talk. And like I said, a win here will guarantee promotion. So let's just go and do it with minimal fuss, hopefully. We've done well for the most part of the season, apart from the rocky patch in um, late January, early February. But for the most part, we've deserved this promotion. So let's get out there and get it. Kaiserslautern now in possession. And we're only less than three minutes in here. Engine goes for the ball. Spelvis goes for goal. Hits the woodwork. And uh, that could have been 1-0 to Kaiserslautern there, but uh, denied by the crossbar. Run positive. Uh, we'll leave it on it for now, but if things don't improve, then we can always go back to balance. Free kick here for Kaiserslautern. Garachi with the ball. And uh, it was going wide. I think Mercury had it covers. But that was off target. If actually, Mercury got a hand to it as a corner, which we're not even going to see. Ignovsky to uh, Garachi. 26 minute of the game here. And it's uh, Kaiserslautern from range. Mercury again makes the save. We've actually been on the back foot in these first sort of 25 minutes. And another corner. And uh, it's cleared at the far post. And eventually cleared further by at Franca. Right. Um, we're going to go back to balance. Because we really haven't been in this game so far. We've got the possession now. But all well, the highlights seem to be going Kaiser Slatton's way. Here we go. Kircher with a throw in here. 35 minutes on the clock. Dominic Prestoffer to Franca. Again, we are stacked on this right-hand side. And it goes backwards to uh, Hazic. Franca. He can find Selkos, and he does find him. Got a goal last live come. Uh, he picks up Franca again. Prostoffer. Is he going to shoot from there? He is. And Prostoffer gets his first goal of the season. We're getting some more goals from midfield. That's good to see. Prostoffer opens his account with just a few games left. He hasn't played as much this season. We've got a lot of options in midfield with guys like Albertat and um, Ablinger. We've got lots of options in central midfield. Uh, Demelt as well. Maybe too many options. I think midfield's a little bit cluttered at the moment. We need to sort of clear some of them out in the summer, I think. But, um, Prestoffer gets the goal there. It's 1-0 to us. And hopefully we can kick on and get one or two more goals now. But that's going to be it for this half. Um, Kazakhstan are like not without their chances, actually. They've been pretty solid. They actually had a clear-cut chance. So they could have made it 1-0. We could be doing a lot better, definitely couple of minor tweaks in the tactic um just bringing the line of engagement back a little bit and um we've been distributed to the four backs we're just going to try and kick it on a bit further go slightly longer with our goal kicks try and go a bit more for the flanks than anything but uh we'll see if we can build on this lead here because um we've got the one goal and it's actually kaiser slatton with a free kick and again it's just over this could be our eighth match without conceding it might go on longer we'll see not long left in this game, and it's not been a great game, to be honest. 20 minutes left. These 1-0 wins at the moment, they're enough, but they're just not exciting. Fuchs apprehensive and been fairly quiet. We're going to bring him off. We're going to bring on Tashurek, who's on a fairly lengthy goal drop. He's got seven for the season, and they were all fairly early on. He's kind of dried up. How can we get more chances out of this? Right, we're going to go back to early crosses. A bit more expressive. Five minutes left. Um, we can make another change. Going to bring on Kola for Selkos. I don't know what it is at the moment. We're grinding out these 1-0 wins against teams that we should be beaten by a lot more. We're going to give Vibram his first appearance just because there's 15 seconds left. And we're just going to make sure he gets an appearance this year. But yeah, not long left. Mark here is going to take his time. It's going to be a third straight 1-0 win, which that's good. It's another clean sheet. It's our eighth straight clean sheet. Our eighth straight clean sheet. There we go. 
But three matches in a row, only winning one nil against the bottom three as well. I don't know what that is. I mean, it secured promotion. That's fantastic. We're in the Bundesliga. We're in the top flight. And we will be for, what's that, the seventh season. So that is... We, we've got promoted every other year. So that's three promotions in six seasons. That's fantastic. And with uh, three matches left, the gap is five points. So if we better 18 60 minutes result next week, um, we will be champions, effectively. That's all we need to do now. Okay, so with our promotion, we've got some initial budget. It's £91,000 a week wage budget, which seems significantly more. Transfer budget is at 870 k We can move that around a lot. I think we're going to end up with, like, once we've sorted out the budgets, we're going to have like £2 million probably. So, yeah, that will take some moving around. But, yeah, we're going to have more than that to spend, definitely, especially if we are up as champions. And you've got the prize money coming in as well, which I think for the um, champions is £15 million, I want to say. I mean, if we look at the media predictions, we ha according to them, we had no chance of promotion this year. We were 1,000 to 1 to uh, to win the title, along with uh, Chemnitz. We've, it, we've defied all the expectations once again and um, going to be promoted to the top flight, to the Bundesliga. So next season, we'll be we'll be playing Bayern a lot more if we stay, as long as we stay up. We've faced him twice in the cup games. Now we're going to be facing him in the league. We've got Borussia Dortmund to deal with, Schalke. Uh, Frankfurt, if they're up there, or are they down here? I think they're with us, aren't they? I can't even remember. But Schalke, Wolfsburg, Bremen. We're going to have some big matches next season. Uh, but we haven't quite finished with it this season yet. Next time, uh, we'll be playing the final two games of the season, as we do every season. Uh, we'll end with a double live com. So Braunschweig away and then Paderborn at home will be the two matches. Uh, providing we are champions by them, which is entirely possible, um, you can expect some rotation, definitely. We're going to try and give some of our younger players some uh, games. Guys like uh, Karoli Shabados, guys like, uh, well, the uh, substitute today, Viedman, uh, Mittelstadt, definitely. I mean, the guys that we can play, we've got these 16, 17 year olds that are too young to play. Guys like Von Valsblen Shield, or whatever his name is, and the 15 year old we bought that we can't play, Akashot. But yeah, next time, um, Braunschweig and Paderborn. And uh, we'll hopefully be champions by then. Nuremberg off screen is going to be the only game we play. And if we bet at 18, 60 minutes result, then we will be champions of the Zweite Bundesliga. Um, but I will leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, do drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. And follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. And I will see you next time for the last two matches of um, Season 6. And... Our last season, at least for now, in the uh, second division, unless we go down, which hopefully will not happen. But um, next season, we will be playing in the top flight of Germany in the Bundesliga uh, after six years. So three out of six years promoted, every other season going up. How many points we end with? It could be 76 points. It could be less. Who knows? But we'll try and avoid defeating our last three games and end unbeaten. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.